Hello and welcome to Ye Yu Lab. Today we are keeping exploring the fascinating world of AI agents and see how the image creation agent can be used to supercharge your LLM applications further. With powerful frameworks like AutoGen and Crew AI, plus smart uh, prompting techniques, we can simply build groups of AI agents that work together to solve complex problems automatically. It's like having a team of experts at your fingertips. We've all seen amazing AI-generated art from tools like Stable Diffusion and Midjourney. OpenAI Study 3 takes this to the next level. It's integrated uh, right into ChatGPT and the OpenAI API, make it one of the most exciting AI art models available. So we will dive into connecting our agents with this powerful model to see how it can handle artwork creation tasks. But why do we need a DALI E3 agent in the first place? Well, there are tons of practical uses. Imagine you are creating marketing materials. You typically need agents for research, copywriting, editing, and formatting. Adding a DALI E agent means you can automatically generate relevant images, making your content much more engaging and professional. We'll take a look at the diagram of a group chat workflow to see how this all comes together. First, the user proxy represents the user input to deliver task to the group. To better understanding the topic, the researcher can make some knowledge retrieval from documents or internet resources. Then the copywriter generate the initial version of the marketing materials and ask critic agent to make a revised to make a revised recommendation then the copywriter agent makes an update and this update text content will be sent to prompt agent which is responsible for generate image creation prompt according to the text materials the prompt will be sent to DALI agent to generate a real image. At the end of this process, the output wrapper agent will consolidate the text with the image into a newsletter or report. The key of this setup is that the copywriter, the prompt agent, and the DALI 3 agent can all work together iterating on task based on user feedback in an automated workflow. It's a huge setup from using a standalone tools like the G ChatGPT Playground. To keep things focused, we'll build a simple demo using the AutoGen framework. And this will involve a prompt agent, a DALI agent, work together to create and refine an image based on your input. And for the visualization part, we will use the easy to use panel framework for this. Let's get started. Okay, here is the output of this application. Firstly, I ask for a Lego design uh, for a car that I simply tell the agent to the agents that my kid likes card, I want to design a Lego car. And then the prompt assistant generate a prompt to the DALI agent and DALI agent generate a Lego car image as an output. But I feel it's not what I want. I tell the agents that my kid li likes luxury car more than a race car. The same process and the DALI agent generate a luxury car. But there is some misunderstanding in the conversation that I want a luxury car, but not a luxury Lego. 
So I send the second message to the to the group that I want a luxury Lego car in a kids level Lego set. Then I get this car. The implementation is not complicated, so let's quickly see the Python code. Let's include these uh, libraries, importing AutoJ, OpenAI, Panel, and the rest of the system libraries. Suppose you have learned how to develop apps with Panel's innovative UI framework. In that case, you will be surprised by how easy it is to set up the chat UI layout to wrap conversations between human users and LLM assistants. Such a group of line can be used to implement the layout. Here we define the design of panel is materials. And the key enabler here is to create a chat interface object that makes all the chat widgets accessible and controlled by application code. In this place, we have registered a callback function to the interface, which will be triggered each time input content is added to the chat input widget in the chat interface. To fit the architecture of AutoJ, there are two paths for the callback handler triggered by the user text input. First is start a group chat task. The second is further directions to the agents. The global variable initiates chat task created set to be false will create an ASIC IO task to run core process of AutoJ in the function of delayed initiate chat. By providing agents like user proxy and a manager and the contents. The input future variable is used to store and signal the subsequent input. Here is the simple delayed initiate chat function def definition. It's just simply called AutoJ uh, method agent A initiate chat after a short wait. Okay, now we are moving to the most critical part of this application, building agents. Three agents need to be built. The user proxy who acts as a human admin, the prompt assistant who writes uh, high quality prompts for DALI 3 generation, and the DALI agent who generates images. Here is the user proxy. As a non-AI agent, the user proxy's role is to request and deliver user input uh, to the core process of Autogen and print it. To integrate these inputs into panel UI, we should define a custom class called my conversable agent to Overwrite the input handler function a get human input from the original conversable agent class. In the new a get human input function, we print the system uh, prompt to the panel UI to inform the user to input and then wait for a message object input future, which will be set by the text input from the panel UI in our previous callback function. The next, the next agent should have the capability to 
uh, generate a decent prompt text to image creation so that we will use GPT-40 for that job. Here is the assistant agent, prompt assistant. Besides the system message, which says you are prompt engineer for image generation task, use the DALI E model. Your goal is to generate creative and accurate image prompts for the model based on the user input. Here is your responsibilities one, two, three. Please make sure your response only contains uh, prompt sentences without including any description and intro introduction of this prompt. Besides of that, there's nothing special about creating such an assistant agent. However, we should do additional work regarding the agent's output to the panel UI. Here we defined a print messages function to call um, chat interface send method to send the content and its relevant uh, user name to the front end. Then reject the print message function to the reply function of the prompt assistant agent. Meaning the print message function will be triggered each time the agent receives a message from the orchestrator. Last but not least, it's time to create the DALI agent to create images. Since no agent classes in AutoJain that integrate with DALI model, we have to customize one. First, let's create a normal conversable agent with a name and a auto reply. Set image URL generated. Because in the DALI 3 model, there will be a temporary URL for this image. Second, we reject a generate image function we'll introduce later to the reply function of this agent. Now each time the prompt message from the prompt assistant agent delivers to this agent, the process of creating an image like calling DALI3 model API can run. We input DALI3 config to the function as a config parameters for later use. Moving forward, Let's see what the generate image definition. There are three steps here. The first step is to print the prompt message that is delivered by the prompt assistant agent. The second step is to use OpenAI API to generate the image through DALI 3 model. The response will be a URL of an image file. The third step is to create a, an image message object in the panel and display it in the front end. To follow the definition of AutoJ group chat structure, we must create a mess we must create a manager agent to orchestrate all three agents in the group. Just create a group chat with the agent included, then create the manager with the GPT-40 model 
and the group chat we just defined. This is a panel-based Python code, so we should run the panel command to run this code. Let's type in panel serve autogen panel image dot pi. If you see this output, your app goes alive. The URL here for the internal network with the default port 5006. And it's also externally accessible if you have a public IP. Visit this URL in your browser and now you can input any ideas of creating images. Let's try create a logo for Yeyu Lab. Interesting. Okay, this demo shows just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to building image creation agents. Now it's your turn to unleash your creativity and build even more amazing and sophisticated applications. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.